Hello everyone, I'm coming on today to show you how I flip a thrift lamp. Here is the lamp here that I got from the thrift store. And I flipped it into this. And I'm going to share with you how I did this using my Cricut and more. Alright everyone, here is the lamp once again. I went into my local thrift store and I saw it and I headed straight for it. Straight for this lamp. And it was just $5.99. Can you believe it? It was a steal. And today's video is sponsored by Cricut. So I'm going to be using my Cricut and more and showing you how to put everything together. All right, so here are the tools that we'll be using today. I'll be using my um, mini easy press with our vinyls and some bling and some spray paint. I'll be spray painting it white. Okay, here's our lamp, all spray painted white. I got this paint from Walmart. And we just gave it two coats of the white paint, sprayed it, let it dry, and then we spray painted it some more. So now I'll be using some of this bling to help decorate the bottom part of our lamp. So I just cut the strips, and now I'm just going to have them going right around the lamp. I'd like to add that there's a little knob at the top of this lamp to hold the lampshade in. I took that off of uh, another lamp that I had in my home. It didn't come with the, the lamp when I got it at the thrift store. Now I had to buy a lampshade for our lamp because it didn't come with one. So I saw this one at Walmart and I bought it and it it's a material um, fabric on it so I can do the iron on it so make sure if you're getting a lampshade it's made with material not plastic now I'm in Cricut design space which they have lots of images for you to choose from but I am just gonna type in flowers and see what they have which they have a wide selections from you to choose from so I think I'll be using this one I like this one better and I am going to put it to the size I want for my space on the lampshade. And then I'm going to duplicate it four times. I need four of the images for each side of our lamp. Lampshade. And now we're just going to press make it. And then we're going to press on a mat. And then here's our images. And we have to make sure we mirror them because we are doing iron on. So you have to mirror your image. And then press the material that you're using and then send it to your Cricut to be cut. Okay, now I have my trimmer because I don't like wasting my vinyl. So I'm just going to use the trimmer and cut off my excess vinyl so I can use it again on another project. And next we're just going to weed our vinyl. So now we're back to our lampshade. We got our image, so we're just gonna decorate our lampshade. I'll be putting some of this glam bling, and I'll be using some of this Gorilla Glue to glue it onto our lampshade. And here we go with all four sides finished. So now I'm going to use some of this glam chain along again with our Gorilla Glue and glue it going right around the bottom and the top part of our lampshade. Okay, now we're going to use our Easy Press Mini, which is such a neat little handheld iron, which makes it easy for using iron on on smaller projects. I love it. So I'm just going to turn it on now so it will heat up to temperature. And I have a lint roll here 
which I'm going to lint roll the lampshade to make sure and get off any excess lint. Okay, here is my image and I'm just going to be using some heat resistant tape to help tape the image to our lampshade. Now I was using a glitter vinyl, but I didn't like how it looked when I put it against the rest of stuff on the lampshade. So I went back in and got a regular silver vinyl and I cut my images out of that. <laughs> okay, so now we have this mat here. I've never done this before in a lampshade. So I said I'll just take the mat, fold it in half, and then we're gonna place it inside of the lampshade. Just like that. And then now we are gonna take our easy, our little mini press, and I have it on the first setting. And we're just gonna iron on our image onto our lampshade. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're just gonna wait a bit before we peel off the carrier sheet because it is a cool peel. Okay, so now it's cool. So we're just gonna remove the carrier sheet. OMG, that looks nice. I'm glad I changed the vinyl <laughs> and used this vinyl instead. It looks very nice. So I'm just gonna continue doing the other sides. I love how our thrift store lamp flip turned out. We revamped this lamp to the T. And I added some bling to the bottom. I didn't show you guys that, but I saw that it was blank, so I just added some down there. And I love that I switched the vinyl to the more plain vinyl or matte if you want to call it. Yeah, it looks, it ties in much better with the rest of the decor I put onto the lamp. I love the flower from my Cricut. It just adds the added touch to the decor and I think it looks absolutely lovely. Cricut Design Space has lots of beautiful images that you can use to help spruce up the items throughout your home and this turned out to be an awesome thrift store flip and here's how it looks with the lights on I love how the flowers look shining through the lampshade I think it looks beautiful all right everyone that's all your girls got for you today I hope I have inspired you to see how you can use your Cricut and make a lovely piece of decor for your home and I hope you guys give me a thumbs up for today's thrift store revamp of this lamp <laughs> and remember as always to stay blessed from petal is blessed and I will catch you on the next one <laughs> bye bye everyone <laughs>